Hello everybody and welcome to this After Effects tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to make a hologram screen effect. Here is what we are going to be creating. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to uh, drag this um, footage down to a new composition. Change the name to footage. Then I'm just going to trim the comp to where it starts. Hit the letter B. and the letter N when you want it to stop. Right click, trim comp to work area. And then I'm going to uh, take a screen catcher, which I have here. Uh, I use a program called, uh, uh, called Camtasia for Mac. And then I captured my screen. Uh, but uh, you could also use a screen flow or if you're or uh, if you is on a Windows computer you can use um, uh, Camtasia okay I'm going to drag this camp down and then I'm going to hit the letter T to bring the opacity to 50 then I'm going to hit this uh, 3d layer, layer switch if you don't see it, uh, try the toggle switches modes. Um, then on the Y axis, turn it so that the, the, it is facing the person. Uh, maybe scale it down a little. A little about that. Then I'm going to align it with my finger. Yeah, that's looking good. And then I'm going to, um, at this point, I am taking the screen down. Uh, to do this, you could either animate the position, but the easiest would be to track the finger by going to View, uh, Window, Tracker Controls, go to Footage, Track Motion. But that may take some time, so uh, I'm going to just copy my uh, null from the other comp into this comp. Uh, and align it. There. Then I'm going to... Parent it to the null. Just gonna shut this um, sound off. Like so. Okay, in the end, I'm also going to uh, move the screen away. By doing that, I'm going to hit the letter P to bring up the position. So the keyframe. Like so. Okay, and then I'm going to animate the screen so that it's uh, 
like popping popping um in sight when he's uh, looking at it. About here. So I'm gonna hit S. I'm going to find the spot. Going about seven frames backwards. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go to zero. Also, hold shift and hit T. So, to create frame the opacity. Now, if we, if we ramp preview, looking good. And then I'm going to do the same in the end. Is let's see. Um. Seven. Zero, past the one frame, zero. Looking good. Um, now I'm going to uh, to add a bit more realism to the screen. I'm going to add a glow by typing glow. Then going to uh, Set the glow based on to alpha channels, increase the radius, and decrease the intensity. So that it gives it a bit glow. Uh, but, of course, but of course, you don't have to do this, so uh, you may play around. But uh, now we have the basic, uh, basic effect. Uh, what you also could do is uh, do what I did in this comp. That was uh, adding this uh, Apple logo, uh, which is just a still frame from uh, uh, which I find on Google. Uh, make it a 3D um, layer. Set the mode screen, add a glow, and uh, by hitting R, I uh, set the key from the, from uh, for the orientation so that this it is uh, spinning in the mid air, and also keyframe for scale to animate it in and out. Um, yes, uh, so that is how you make a um, hologram screwing effect. Let me just make a quick preview of this one so we can see what we have created. Yeah, looking good. Uh, uh, yes, this is a basic effect. Of course, you could play more with it by uh, having multiple uh, buttons you can press on or folders you can move. Uh, this is a basic effect. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any, squ uh, any questions, uh, please uh, leave them in the comment uh, section below. And uh, see ya!